I found this silver flask looking thing with like a window on the side of it. So I'm taking this little obscure item of mine to a couple of real obscure dealers. Maybe they can help me figure out what the hell this thing is. Hey, how you Barry. doing? Good, how are you? I'm Barry. Hello. Barry. Sally. So, uh, this is the this piece is that I called you about. Flask. I could tell it was old. I thought at first it was a flask, till I realized that yeah, the door yeah. opens up. Hey, you just flub a... Like a flubber gob in there, see? They call it a pocket spittoon. Yeah, it's a piece, definitely oh, okay. antique item, probably like the 1840s. People would carry it in their pocket, and they had the urge to spit, and then they would go <laughs> spit in there like that, see? Wow, really? Naturally, it's kind of gross. I mean, you can imagine somebody just hawking, <laughs> hawking stuff in there. Because I had no idea. I mean, again, ooh, would you just jump <laughs> out of there? There's a real fine line on this one between gross and cool. The right, emperors in China actually had a gold one. What did the Asian, Chinese Asian. use them for? Same spitting? thing? Yeah, spitting. <laughs> oh. Now I know that it's a pocket spittoon. I'm curious as to how much it's worth. A value of that? What do you think? I have a, get, a shout out. What do you think? I don't know. 250. 450. You say 250, you say 450. You say 450? On a good day. I think this thing is so unusual, the experts are having problems putting a price on it. Well, I tell you what, though, honestly, uh, if you said it was worth $1,000, I just don't want to sell it. Yeah, uh, and this, I've never seen one of these. Because this thing is so unique, I think I'm just going to keep it. Obscure items like this portable spittoon are the reason. I got into collecting in the first place. But thanks again. I yeah. sure oh, you're welcome, man. Yeah, thanks. Anytime. This is going right into my personal collection. Once I have somebody boil out a hundred years of phlegm. 